Okay, so here we are with part two of the uh, adding of the vacuum canister debris to, uh, um, to Hoover here. Um, you can see it's just an almighty clump of dusty dog hair. One thing I forgot that's in our vacuum is a lot of pieces from the shredder by the look of it that get vacuumed up. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, because obviously this is bone dry, is I'm just gonna start wetting this down because the worms, regardless, are not gonna go in here until this is, this is moisture. Now I've ordered one of those nicer pump mister bottles, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna have to do this the hard way. And I can tell you right now, this is, this is not working well for me because this thing is more on a directed spray than a mist, but it will keep the dust down and it will gradually permeate these different levels. So, oh my goodness, this is gonna take a long time. Um, so I guess what I'm gonna say is I won't keep running this video all the time to do this. I just wanted to show you how much I'm just taking a risk here that the little test with the vacuum canister debris was successful, that the worms were into it like nobody's business. This is not a conventional worm bin. This is not a worm bin that has a pound of worms in it. This is a worm bin that maybe has, I'm gonna guess 300 worms in it. And so the, um, so the worms are, you know, this is a lot of bedding. If this is basically, um, if I'm looking for this to be infiltrated by worms, if 300 worms spread out in this material, I would barely see them. So I am not going to feed these worms for a long time. I'm just going to let this bedding um, rest here and we'll, you know, get it nicely damped. I'm going to, once um, I've dampened it down so that, Unfortunately, when I tip this thing, it doesn't want to squirt very well. I think I'm going to take a risk. I know they say not to do this. I'm going to take a risk and pour it. But once this is dampened down a little bit better, I will stir it up so that there are castings uh, mixed into this. Um, not that I think it needs to be inoculated with bacteria, because I actually think this vacuum stuff has loads of bacteria in it. There. Um, but I do think that the, um, the worms will then get mixed up into it as well and cocoons, cause I know there are cocoons in here. And, and so, you know, and, and you know, if I've if I've put too much water in here, then, then I will have to obviously rectify that with more, with more cardboard or something to soak it up. But this is. This is extraordinarily dusty, dirty, yucky material. Um, but like I said, it's not synthetic. I'm not giving the worms plastic. I'm not giving them anything that I wouldn't want in my garden once it's gone through. The, oh, and there's stuff over here, obviously. Look at this. Once it's gone through the worms digestive system and its castings, None of this is something that I wouldn't want in my garden. Okay, so my canister is empty. So that was about half a liter. There's a little bit more in the spritzer here. So this is not, I don't think, enough water. I think if I put my hands in to mix this up, I'm just going to get a big dust cloud come up. But what I could do is I could on this side take my hand and just start mixing up this edge of it. And I think that's what I'm gonna have to start doing is just folding in the vacuum dirt into the castings and let the, let the worms just gradually ease into this. And yeah, you can see the dust coming up from just that little bit that I did even though I'd sprayed, I'd sprayed. So I'm gonna stay out of the dust. It's probably all my hair dander. <laughs> anyway, 
but I'm going to stay out of the dust. There's a worm and I'm just going to do that much. And then uh, I might even put a mask on, wet this down some more and, uh, and then give it an almighty stir. And you know, my apologies to the worms if they don't like it. There's a couple of guys right now just heading down into there. I'm hoping the worms will be okay with this. And this is another bedding for them that they actually take to. They certainly liked it in the sample. So maybe this will be a three-part video because I haven't got the app that allows me to pause my video yet. Uh, so I'm going to stop this, get a mask on, get more water, and, uh, and start um, folding this into my um, bedding. And hopefully the worms will deal with it. I'm hoping that they will thrive in here, actually. So let's uh, see you in the next video.